In this video, we're going to focus on uh, consideration for computer design. If you want to think about it from your point of view as a user of a computer at this time, you can think about what are some of the reasons you select one computer over the other computer. So you're on the, so far you hope, uh, I'm assuming you not, have not designed a computer system, so you've been on the purchaser side or the consumer side of the computer. Uh, and now what we're doing is when you're sitting down and trying to design a computer, you have to consider why people select different computers and what are the criteria they use to select it. And by no means this is supposed to be an exhaustive list of all the different considerations, but at least has many of the key elements in kind of where we are in our thinking when we go to design a new computer system. So first thing to consider is functionality. Now, what does functionality mean? In terms of today's computers, is this if I'm buying a laptop or I'm buying a desktop running Windows, I expect it to be able to run all the applications that I want to run on Windows. So, so from, from, a, from a point of view of functionality, you can almost think about this is given. If you do not have all the functionality, for example, if you're not if I'm buying a Windows system and Windows doesn't run on it and all the Windows application doesn't run on it, it I don't have a product. Or if I'm, I'm buying a, um, let's say, a cruise control for my car, a, a device um, for cruise control or a GPS for my car or for my or a phone, if it doesn't run all the things I want to run on it, I'm not even going to consider it. So, so functionality has, is given. The assumption is that it's 100% complete because if it's not, it's not even a player in today's market. That wasn't always the case, so that's given. Reliability, actually maintainability and reliability, what does that mean? Reliability means it doesn't break. Maintainability says if it breaks, it's easy to fix it. And, and not that maintainability uh, is not important, but what has happened is that because the cost of computers have come down, they've become so complicated that once they break, you can't fix it because they have cost reduced it to a point they don't allow any replaceable items or in many cases so maintainability has lost his uh, lost his uh, importance but what hasn't lost his importance is reliability it's it's again is something that's very high in importance so if your system fails and you get a reputation that your system is failed uh, you might as well be out of the market because most people won't buy it. This is very true for computer systems because computer systems are complicated enough that an average user only goes by reputation. So if they hear someplace that this computer is not reliable, they cannot verify it by doing some um, careful study of the thing. They just gonna go by the reputation. So reliability is very important. Almost, I would say, it's given. If you do not have the reliability, at least the reliability reputation, you're not going to be there. So, so what does that mean in terms of the design? In terms of the design, it means that you got to make sure the product doesn't fail. Memory, it's really becoming less of an issue as the cost comes down. Uh, the need is always rising. Um, and... Um, this is a case that Moore's Law has been keeping up, and we're going to talk about what Moore's Law is, which is the concept of uh, uh, the, the people described in different ways, but it's doubling every two years. And we've been there, um, and, uh, and uh, prices have kept up too, as the price of um, the typical 8 gigabyte today is the same price you would have paid uh, in 1980 for 256K. Of memory, so so the, uh, the the progress is very good there. Memory you have to be able to handle as much memory as the uh, uh, is available on the market at the time. Usability. So now now we kind of these are uh, if you think about it, everything above this line you must have 100%. If you have less than 100%. Um, then you're not a player, your computer will not be considered, so might as well not bother designing it. Now, these are what I would call, these, these, are, these were the given, the must-have, or a better way of putting the name on it, these are the must-have uh, features. These are the considerations that is what I would call a competitive, okay? 
these are the items that helps you as a user or allows you as a designer to design a computer that stands up above other people. I didn't put cost in here because cost is, you know, the byproduct of the decision is made here. Not that it's not important. Uh, so let's take a look at usability. Ease of use, that's one place that computer systems can distinguish uh, themselves from each other and a designer needs to consider it. Now, if you're doing Windows or you're doing Mac OS or you're doing Linux, a lot of the user interface sides of those things are more or less dictated to you, more, especially in iOS and in Windows. Linux, you have some flexibility of uh, different options, but for most part, this is, and the hardware also, how easy the hardware is to use, to whatever. So that usability is one place that you can distribute. And if you think about yourself, that might be a criteria for you selecting one device over the other device because everything above the line, all systems have. Performance, that's probably by far one of the main reasons folks today upgrade to a different computer system because their current computer system doesn't run the applications they want to run as fast as they want it to run. Form factor has become a new thing. So for example, I want to have a smaller computer or a larger computer or a bigger screen. Some form factor. Form factor means the shape, the size, the weight of the device. Okay. So those, these are the consideration that when you, um, sit down to design a computer you need to think about it because that is these are the set of criteria the person who goes to buy a computer is thinking about it we've got three items listed above the line which means you must have it if you don't have it might as well not come to the market because nobody's going to care and then the bottom three usability performance and form factor are the competitive indicators what makes you more competitive than someone else now the trade-off here is the big bugaboo of cost right we are many of us are willing to give up certain amount of usability performance or form factor in order to adjust our costs so the trade-off is between cost and everything else above the line that brings us to the end of this video